reason only, and that reason is war! I said, war! Are you in love, Private? Then don't look at me or give me nightmares. Lights! Saustralasia, a collection of islands in the South Pig Pacific. Reconnaissance has shown that these islands are rich in swill. <laughs> Shut up! Swill is the lifeblood of pigs. Control the swill, and you control the world. And that means war. What does it mean? War, Sergeant! Precisely. And as soldiers, our job is to fight, destroy, with guns and bombs and, and knives and, and with your bare hands for that. I am. <coughs> but before that avenue of pleasure, a series of training films to prepare you for every eventuality in the theater of war. Of war. Roll it! Armies on the march. The world divided. The threat of attack from the land, the sea, and the air. No Sunday roast this week. While the soldiers are in the thick of it, back home there's plenty of work to go around. Like making high explosive bombs. Anti-tank bombs. And making other bombs. So let's make the most of it. That's the ticket. And remember, lads, a war is won at home and not just on the battlefield. There is no excuse for malingering. With any luck, it should all have blown over by Christmas. Hey guys, welcome to Let's Play Hogs of War. This is a huge nostalgia trip for me. I used to play the hell out of this game when I was a kid. I love this game. It's awesome. It's on the PlayStation 1. Uh, it's basically kind of like Worms 3D, except 100% more awesome. You play as pigs, you blow each other up with bombs and knives and, and with your bare hands and blah, 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 whatever else he said. So I'm just going to jump straight in here because I know if I don't I'll get a demo show up. And we don't want that. Right. Now I'm English in case you couldn't tell. And this is the English army. Because you pick an army and you basically have to take over Saustralasia. And you fight a different army per section. It's, it's kind of, I think it's split up into one, two, three, four. I think about five big areas and then you have to fight around five times in each area like one different country per section so it's almost like a puzzle game because you have you take turns and you have to try and uh, outmatch your opponent you have to sort of get hit in and then get your pig to safety to not get blown up in return and you really want to beat the game without losing any pigs to get the most promotion points to upgrade your pigs to make them even better to survive even longer. It's so much fun and it's a very funny game. It's voiced by an English comedian called Rick Mail. You almost certainly won't have heard of him outside of England, but it's great. I love this game. I love the voice acting, everything. It's awesome. Right, so as I was saying, this is the English team. This is the French. These are the Americans. These are the Russians. These are the... Chinese, I think. It could be Japanese. I think it's Chinese. And these are the Germans. Uh, yes, every single country here gets ripped on in this game. It's full of stereotypes and just borderline racism, to be quite honest. It kind of just takes the piss out of all of them. But it's a really old game. PlayStation 1, like I said, it's so much fun. Now, I'm pretty sure there's a secret team called Team Lard that you can unlock. And I think you pick a team, then you... No, you pick a team, and we go back. And then I think you type in Mardi Pigs. I don't know if you have a space. We'll try it, we'll try it. It's been so long, I don't remember. I do, do you need a space? And there's a reason I'm picking this. That's not, that's not Team Lard. God damn it. Must have a space. Mardi. Bear with me, people, bear with me. Space. P, I. That's P. God damn it. G. S. There we go, Team Lard. Right now, the reason I picked Team Lard is because Team Lard is just comprised of all the other teams. So you have a bit of everything in here. And I figure since this is a very multicultural, uh, very European based YouTube channel, at least I think so. I mean, I have people watching from all over the damn world. So I figure we'll go with this because it's a mix of everything, you know? Not every country, of course, but it's a mix of the ones in the game. So basically, you start off with one pig, 
And you start off with three, sorry. But for some reason, only this one's highlighted. I don't know why. Uh, you start off with three, and then I think one or two missions in, you unlock five. You can swap these guys out, and if your pig dies a certain amount of times, they can be perma-dead. So, it has perma-death in it. It's, it's such a good game. I cannot tell you how awesome it is. Let's just start, and you will see. We don't want to play a training mission. Now, it's been probably a good 10 years since I played this game, or at least the best part of it, so... Alrighty ho! I hope this isn't too loud. Okay, so... Ah, uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right, let me explain some of the basics. You can see in the bottom left, the hearts are health boxes, and the sort of brownish squares are crates that we can pick up for weapons. So we'll grab that health box, and this is the basic crap we have. When you beat a mission, you get promotion points. You get more depending on if you didn't lose any pigs and certain conditions like that. And then you can use those promotion points to upgrade them into snipers and engineers and heavy weapons and medics and all sorts of shit like that. So for now, we're just a basic grunt. Contemplate this. Contemplate this. Suck my grenade. Right, 30 is the max damage you can do with a grenade. I think we all have 50 HP at the moment. Unless we pick up health boxes. Has front shoulders back fire. Oh, these are the Americans. I was like, I was like, that guy doesn't sound very French. Really? These are the Americans. The French are the dark blue. I remember now. Right, we're gonna blow this dude up. It you gets crave my shot, no? I think this guy's a French one. Boom, son. Right, the game gets very complicated. Sir, permission to expire, sir. <laughs> but early game is very basic. And when you blow a pig up, they leave smoking boots behind. I like an easy mark. And each pig has a personality. For example, there's one of the Americans that's based around Elvis, so he's, he makes a lot of Elvis, Elvis puns and stuff. It's just, oh, it's such a good game, oh my god. Right, Walter. You can go in water, but it will hurt you. Do you see, we start losing HP. Uh, when you level your guy up to, I think, a commando or above, uh, then you could swim without taking damage. So, at the moment, water is a trap, and we need to keep out of it. And I threw that way too freaking far. Well, I got a little bit of damage off. Nowhere near enough. That was just a bad grenade all around. What are you doing, bro? What are you doing? You can knock pigs out of the area as well. If you go outside the map, you go just poof. Contemplate this. Okay, then. <laughs> Good shot. And obviously the difficulty ramps up. At the moment, they're incompetent. But later in the game, they will have pinpoint precision with, like, airstrikes and shit. So you need to be good by the time you get towards the end of the game. Right, what I am going to do, I'm going to run along here with this dude and grab the health kit behind this guy. Because otherwise he's going to use it to heal up, and we don't want that. And also you get very little time per turn, the further you get. By the time you get to, like, the last mission, you get, like, 10 seconds ago. It's quite ridiculous. And you start fighting teams that are much bigger than yours, and... They've got some advanced stuff. It's it's such a good game. It's oh my god, it's awesome. And there's like turrets and stuff you can put your pig in. And there's so many weapons. Oh, this is a beautiful moment. Right, we're not gonna kill this dude. Right, we got enough damage off that we can kill him in one more hit. So that's all I was really concerned about. I think our basic gun at the moment does 20. I think if we punch them, it does 10. Welcome to my world of pain. <laughs> I love the voices. Oh my god. Ouch. I think he's nearly dead. We don't want to die. Yeah? Yeah, 22. That's that's not good. Uh, let's try and get this dude to safety. You start hobbling when you get uh, really low on HP. I think if you get really, really low, you move almost not at all. So, uh, by the time you get to that stage, it's actually quicker to jump. But at the moment, we're, we're just about okay that we can actually walk. Right. I need this guy to be alive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move up here and kind of hide myself and hope that I'm far enough away that that guy over there doesn't grenade me or something. Uh, how the hell do I use the gun? Oh, there we go. 
Can I see him? No. Where is he? Here he is. How do we fire the gun? You lucky pig. Ah, I remember the controls. Look at that butterfly. I don't think I should be here. Those are graphics. Oh, good show. Let's send them packing. Don't shoot my guy, man. Shoot someone with a lot of HP. What are you doing? Easy does it. Easy does it. Oh, don't skim across. Oh. Yes, Captain. Oh, okay. This is to do with all the HP, isn't it? Well, not a lot. Right. Again, we're going to go grab the medic kit and then grab that weapon on that island and blow him up with that because I think that's a bazooka. I suck with the bazooka, though. Oh, God. Right, you can slip off of these mountains as well. I'll try and show you that killing myself. Yeah. You gotta be careful of that. Right, I want this weapon. Let's just swim across. We've got enough HP. Oh, jeez. Jump, you idiot. There we go. Eh, get on the island. Right, you get two shots in this thing. I think when you have an engineer... Uh, not engineer, sorry, heavy weapons, and they get to, like, stage 3 or something, you have an unlimited bazooka. Well, this bazooka only does 40 damage, but that's more than we can do with anything else at the moment. But, uh, yeah, I find this thing really difficult to use, and I always have done. So with no practice in about 10 years, this is not going to go well. Don't want it to go very far. Ah, oh, that didn't go anywhere near close enough. Well, that's... I hit myself as well, fantastic. He's going to retaliate. I think he's out of grenades. I think he's thrown three of them. So he's probably just going to wander around like an idiot and then shoot me. The AI is a little derpy in the sense that it will just wander around pointlessly and then go and do something stupid. But like I say, early game, they're easy. Late game, you get like 10 seconds and they're just like, ooh, airstrike. Boom. P perfect precision. So you have to like hide in buildings and stuff. I love this game. Where are you going, you idiot? Goodbye. Right, so if we can get a decent grenade off on him, we can take him out and we won't have lost the pig, which is something at least. Yes. Quite so. Let's see if we can need this dude. Get out the way, booties. Yes, I said booties. Right, where is he? Where are ya? Got this tree, isn't he? He's very, very clever hiding this place. Okay. Let's make sure we don't screw this up. I'd, I'd just like to share this with you. I might have screwed it up. Well, that did not go very far at all. Wait for it. Aha! Bullshit. Awesome. My blood. Yeah, I remember most of the quotes. I played this shit out of this game when I was a kid. Right, mission successful. We get one promotion point for complete level, one for the survival bonus. It's up to you to promote the pigs on your squad. Choose their paths carefully. Each rank of pig has its own strengths and weaknesses, and you must find out which is best for your style of command. Okay, right. Um, for now, we're just going to put one in each, because what else can we do? Uh, I want an engineer. Engineers are awesome. They get TNT and they get super shotguns. At the moment, I think we just have the basic shotgun. We might not even have one at all. But uh, you get, like second or third rank engineer and you get a super shotgun it's like it sends guys absolutely flying you can knock them out of the map with it it's oh, so much fun you get mines and stuff as well uh sniper heavy weapons yeah, medic i'm gonna go over heavy weapons right let's save the team i think there's approximately 20 missions in the game some of them will get reasonably lengthy, as in like maybe 30 minutes or thereabouts. I doubt many are much longer than that. But yeah, I'm going to leave it here for now. I know this was going to be kind of a short episode, but it's it's more of an introduction to the game. See how you guys th feel. If you like it, if you want to see more, let me know. Click the like button if you enjoyed the video. It helps me out a great deal and it shows me you do want to see more of this game. Trust me, it is awesome. That was a tiny little, just absolutely basic taster of how good this game is.
like I say, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.